Hello, my PBC family and friends. Pastor Brian here with another quick bite, living the word. Today, our word is going to come from Psalm 37. And uh, I, I was just in our study this morning with Ms. Chandra, uh, our time together. We ran into this verse, and I thought, you know, that is an amazing thought, an amazing verse for us. And uh, so if you turn to Psalm 37, and we're going to pick up at verse 37, and we'll read verses 7, or verse 37, Psalm 37, verse 7, and we'll read verses 7 and 8 together this morning. It says, Rest in the Lord, and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his ways, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger, and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. So what stood out to me as I was reading this passage this morning, I was thinking about this passage, and, I was, and, and, we, and when we ran across it, is, first of all, the idea of resting in the Lord, right? I think sometimes when we think about resting in the Lord, we think it's a matter of being inactive. We think it's a matter of just sitting around and doing nothing, and that we're not, what, what are you doing? I'm just resting in the Lord. No, resting in the Lord means to basically continue to be active, continue to do what God has called you to do, but know that God is in control. God's going to have his way done, and that God's going to do what he needs to do. But in addition to that, he says, and wait patiently for him, fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his ways. Now, I love that word, fret not thyself. That word fret literally means to burn with anger, right? So burn, don't burn with anger over those who prosper in their ways because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. In other words, don't burn with anger over those who you think are prospering in their wickedness. You need to cease from those things, he goes on to say. Verse 8, cease from anger and forsake wrath. And then by all means, fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. So even if, you know, we're not supposed to burn with anger over the ones we think are prospering in their wickedness, but and definitely not supposed to burn with anger in our response to them as well. Because in our response to them, we do evil if we are burning with anger in our response. We should want to look at a lost and dying world and recognize that they don't know Jesus. Have compassion for them. Have care for them. It's amazing how many times we expect the world to behave in a manner that we ourselves, before we knew Jesus Christ, would not. But what all this is, comes before all this is these words. And this is where I really want to close at this morning for us and encourage us. He says, verse 5, Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as the noonday. Commit thyself, thy way unto the Lord. Trust in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Here's the point. I love this, right? And I'm just going to go back now in this psalm. I want you to think about some of the things we're told to do just in the first several verses of this, of this psalm. Right? In verse 1, right? He says, For fret not thyself because of evildoers. There it is again. Right? For they shall be cut down like the grass and withers the green herb. Verse 3, Trust in the Lord and do good. Verse 4, Delight thyself also in the Lord. Verse 5, Commit thy way unto the Lord. Verse 7, Rest in the Lord. Listen to those, right? That's the point. Trust, delight, Commit, rest. That's where it's all found at. It's all wrapped up in the Lord. If you're having a struggle in your life and you're having a hard time in your walk right now, maybe you're not trusting, delighting, committing, and resting in the Lord. Because that's what we're supposed to be doing. Our whole being and existence should be wrapped up in our Savior, Jesus Christ. Not wrapped up in the things of this world. Not wrapped up in our self-identity not wrapped up in our self-worth, not wrapped up in our jobs, not wrapped up in our families, not wrapped up in our homes, not wrapped up in anything but Jesus. Jesus is the answer. The Lord is the way. So I hope this encouraged you this morning. I know it, it challenged my heart and encouraged me to think about the fact that if I'm having struggles or difficulties or I'm fretting over the evildoers, then I, in that fretting and anger, I'm actually committing evil. I need to commit it to the Lord. I need to delight myself in the Lord. I need to trust in the Lord and certainly need to rest in the Lord. Because after all, God is in control. God's got this. So I love you. We love you. God loves you. And God's got this. <laughs>